Okay, so David, we just finished talking about what one to one and onto mean. Mm-hmm. Can you illustrate those definitions in an example? Okay, so one to one and onto. Why don't we illustrate it with a bijection, a function which is a bijection? Yeah. So let's let's maybe remind everyone what a bijection is. Yes. So let's take let's say f is a bijection. And I'll maybe write a function. Yeah. Just to make it super clear. A function f is a bijection, if it is. Um, one to one and onto. Yes. Okay, so let's come up with an example of a function that is both one-to-one and onto. So we'll draw a graph here. Um, so just be the, oh, that is not straight at all. That's more straight. Okay, so let's say this is x, and let's say this is f of x. Uh-huh. And let's define function that's both one-to-one and onto, so f of x equals x cubed. Uh-huh. Which is this squiggly line here. Yeah, sorry, that should be that should be zero. Um, so let's go through this. And is this function a bijection? Okay, well let's check the definition. It's a bijection if it is one to one. Uh huh. Okay, well let's look at that. So is it one to one? Now remember, something is one to one if f of x being equal to f of y implies x equals y. Right. So. Let's say uh, f of x is this. Uh huh. Well, to me, it looks like you know x needs to be equal to. We'll call that x star. Uh huh. To y star. So let's say y star. Yeah. Uh, or f of x star, just to make it a little, a little nice, nicer. So there's only one point in the domain uh-huh. of this function, which is x, uh-huh. that maps to f of x star. Yeah. So you know if you've you know been given f of x star, or sorry, if you've been given f of let's say a for example, mm-hmm. and it's equal to f of x star. Yeah. Well, what can you tell about a? Uh, it. it there is there is no other value yes. in in x that can map to f of x star. Right. So f of a, the uh, a needs to be x star. Yes, the a has to be x star. Yeah. Okay. So I think we've just we've got the one to one. Yeah. Um, is this function onto? What do you uh, What do you think? Yes, because for every value in f of x, uh, there is in the va- image in, in the, the image, image right in the of image, function. Yeah. Uh, there is a, a value in x that maps to it. Right. Yes. Right. And that's that's pretty easy to see, right? Like, let's say you had f of x equals, uh, you know, 10,000. Uh-huh. Well, you know, you just find the cubed root of 10,000. Right. And you've got your point in the domain of uh, the domain of function that maps right. to 10,000 with, right. uh, with this function. Right. So, yeah. Okay. So, it's one-to-one. It's on to. It's a bijection. Okay. Good.